I'm not talking about the neo-Nazis and the white nationalists because they should be condemned totally. No, I wouldn't support a national ban. Protect our LGBTQ citizens. You're being lied to. This isn't even about supporting Trump. This is merely just calling out the lies that are bluntly told in front of our faces. I urge you all to think for yourself and look up the news for yourself. I don't care if you vote for Trump or Kamala as long as you know why you are voting for them. In this video, we're gonna be debunking the most common lies that are told about Donald Trump because instead of the media telling you the lies that Donald Trump is making, the media is making the lies about Donald Trump. And again, this isn't to say that he's never lied before, but it just goes back to how the media is coming up with lies about him instead of just telling the people what he's actually saying and giving the proper context. So if you like this kind of content, commentary, reaction, and you like getting to the truth of the matter, be sure to subscribe. It helps the channel grow a ton. Without further ado, let's dive right into this. Bye. Find people on both sides. Let's remember Charlottesville where there was a mob of people carrying tiki torches, spewing anti-Semitic hate. And what did the president then at the time say? There were fine people on each side. This is something that they didn't fact check, despite fact checking Trump, which I'm all for. If you're gonna fact check, fact check, that's fine. I'm all for the truth, but at least be consistent. Because according to a common fact checking site, Snopes, no, Trump did not call neo-Nazis and white supremacists very fine people. That's just, that's the actual truth. Joe Biden, Kamala, everybody keeps regurgitating this one headline. He said there are fine people on both sides. There is far more context to what he said. His sentence was cut off and the truth was just never out there. So for those of you who have never seen the actual footage, let's hear what he actually said. Changing history, you're changing culture, and you had people, and I'm not talking about the neo-Nazis and the white nationalists, because they should be condemned totally. I'm not talking about the neo-Nazis or the white supremacists, white nationalists. They should be condemned completely. That is what he said in that same clip. But like, if I let if I let it keep playing. But you had many people in that group other than neo-Nazis and white nationalists, okay? And the press has treated them absolutely unfairly. Now, in the other group also, you had some fine people, but you also had troublemakers, and you see them come with a, with the black outfits and with the helmets and with the baseball bats. He called it out for what it is. He said there were very bad people on the right that need to be condemned. The white nationalists and the clans of all them people, he said that's stupid, that needs to be condemned. And he also said the Antifa and the people dressed in all black, they need to be condemned too. There were fine people on the right side that just wanted to maintain our nation's history and have these statues and it's whatever. There were fine people on the left who said, I want this statue down, it's hurtful to my ancestors. Regardless, there were fine people on both sides, but it's clear with the full context Text. Trump never said that the, the Klansmen and the white nationalists were very fine people. He said they should be condemned. That's the actual truth. Speaking of racism in Charlottesville, let's get right into he's racist against black people. Let's just go through some of the things that he has said about black people. Let's talk about George Floyd. You said George Floyd's death was a terrible thing. Terrible. Why are African Americans still dying at the hands of law enforcement in this country? And so are white people. So are white people. What a terrible question to ask. So are white people. More white people, by the way. That's not racist, that's an actual fact. The way that question was framed was act actually very wrong, very misleading, and it was meant to like trap him or make him look bad, when in reality, every race in this nation deals with police brutality, which by the way is at a very, very low amount compared to the regular smuggler criminals out there. Are cops supposed to be protecting us? Yes, but I'm not gonna sit here and act like every cop is bad and wrong. And I'm also not gonna act like we're gonna get rid of bad cops entirely. Bad cops are out there, it sucks, but to sit here and act like my life is in danger at the hands of white police, when there are more people who get struck by lightning and die, than black unarmed men get shot by the police, miss me with it. It's so misleading. It really is. And what Trump said was true. That is a horrible question to ask. Why people are harmed too. Let's keep it real. All Trump has done is keep it real. Let's go to the next clip. Why do you have to lose? You're living in poverty. Your schools are no good. You have no jobs. What the hell do you have to lose? Like when we look in our inner cities, St. Louis, Chicago, Detroit, Atlanta, the list can go on. And it's ran by all Democrats for years and we keep complaining about our hoods and our neighborhoods and everything falling apart, what do we have to lose by trying something new? That's all he was saying. I don't see the problem. What racist invites over 200 black people to hang out with him at his house? Because again, I was there. 
I told you, I've been about this. I've been there multiple times. I've dapped up Trump. I, I've never gotten a racist and bigoted vibe. People kept telling me that he was so racist and so bigoted. So what did I do? I went to the man's house to go and meet him. <laughs> I got invited to some events. I met him, didn't get a racist bone in my body. Like, honestly, it was actually a funny speech. That seems like a really bad racist to me. What racist pours money into black communities? President Trump unveiling Opportunity Zones, a new policy he says will build up communities in need by giving investors tax breaks to invest in low-income areas. What racist works with Kim Kardashian to get black people out of jail? Um, it really is such an honor to be here today so thank you um my whole journey with criminal justice reform what racist meets with the founder of bet black entertainment television to discuss racism and ways to be a better person and ally to the black community i came away from that meeting understanding that president trump uh is committed to uh reaching out to African Americans. And in the course of my conversation with them, we talked about a number of issues, if implemented by President Trump and his administration, will demonstrate that uh, African Americans have something to gain uh, by uh, establishing a common ground with, uh, with President-elect Trump and his administration. Actions speak louder than words. And all these actions that Trump is doing for the black community, I don't understand how people keep pinning him as a racist when he actually is the worst racist out there. Project 2025. You're gonna hear tonight is a detailed and dangerous plan called Project 2025 that the former president intends on implementing if he were elected to Ghent. Let's hear, I, I keep hearing about Project 2025 from everyone on the left and all these Democrats who keep talking about it, talking about this is Trump's plan, Trump's plan, Trump's plan. What does Trump have to say about it? Because the only time I've ever heard Trump speak about Project 2025 is when he's saying things like this. Like some on the right, severe right, came up with this Project 25, and I don't even know. I mean, some of them, I know who they are, but they're very, very conservative, just like you have, they're sort of the opposite of the radical left, okay? You have the radical left, and you have the radical right, and they come up with this, pro I don't know what the hell it is, it's Project 25. He's involved in Project, and then they read some of the things, and they are extreme, I mean, they're seriously extreme, but I don't know anything about it. I don't want to know anything about it, but what they do is misinformation and disinformation, and they keep saying, he's a threat to democracy. I'm saying, what the hell did I do for democracy? Last week, I took a bullet for democracy. Like, let's be real. Again, I keep saying let's be real because no one's being real. Like, he's saying he doesn't know about it. He's saying he knows some people who put it together. He knows and admits that it's very far right, the same way as a far left. And that's that. It's not fair to pin him to something that he says he has nothing to do with. It doesn't matter if he knows some of the people who wrote it. So does Kamala. He incited violence on January 6th. President of the United States incited a violent mob to attack our nation's capital. What did Trump actually say? Again, we keep being told what he said. We keep being told he incited violence. What did Trump actually say on Jan 6 at that rally? Let's listen. I know that everyone here will soon be marching over to the Capitol building to peacefully and patriotically make your voices heard. Peacefully and patriotically march down to the Capitol. The crazy people on Jan 6, that is not patriotic. That is delusional and that is insane and that is crazy. He encouraged people to walk peacefully and patriotically. And you know what's crazy about that whole thing and that the whole setup where he's speaking in DC and then everybody goes and walks to the Capitol? I was there, not Jan 6 exactly, but an event just like this two months prior at the White House. Here's my invite. I told y'all I'm gonna be talking on my 
Dear Amir Odom, please see your invitation to remarks by the president to be held at the White House on Saturday, October 10th, 2020. It was a rinse and repeat event. When I heard that he told people, when everyone was like harping about Trump told everybody to like go to the Capitol, he always does that. He did that at the event that I was at. We all walked to the Capitol and then dispersed and went back to the hotels or went out to eat or went to the club. Except for Jan 6, you had the crazy people acting a fool. We still have more to go through, but it's very clear that the media is very elusive when it comes to telling the truth. Even when Trump got shot you think the media would in big tech would just be very clear about what happened and let everything come up and be shown but no we've seen that that's not the case google and facebook accused of suppressing trump attempted assassination let's dive right into this article total sources 85 12 leaning left 33 leaning right 14 on the center so what has the center said about this google faced accusations of suppressing information about donald trump's july 13th assassination attempt by failing to show relevant search results what did the left say about this google meta debunked claims they were hiding details about trump assassination sometimes Sometimes the real explanation isn't political bias but faulty products. Now we know these people can pull levers and pick and choose what to highlight. We've seen it be done. We just saw that viral video asking Alexa about why they should vote for Kamala and then they give a, a list of reasons. Then he say, give me a list of reasons why I should vote for Trump and Alexa's silent. Alexa, why should I vote for Trump? I cannot provide responses that endorse any political party or its leader. Alexa, why should I vote for Kamala Harris? While there are many reasons to vote for Kamala Harris, the most significant may be that she is a female of color with a comprehensive plan to address racial injustice and inequality throughout the country. We know, and we've seen it for years now, this constant bias. What is the right saying about it? Well, New York Post, okay, yeah, it leans right. Woke well, tech giant Google censors Trump and backs Harris. Google was accused of skewing search results relating to Republican president candidate Donald Trump in favor of Dem rival Kamala Harris. And what's crazy is that we've all seen this and the left isn't even denying it. You go back to what the left is saying, remove your tinfoil hat. Has. Social media mishaps are always billionaire election stealing plots. Regardless, you're still admitting that the search results and everything was bad for Trump, but good for Kamala. It's shady. And this is one of the many reasons why I love ground news because it equips you with the tools to see the left, right, and center and how they're really spinning things between different headlines and stories. So if you want to get involved, be sure to click the link below or scan the QR code here on the screen. And for those of you that are international, don't figure you can go right up to this corner, hit US edition, and you can talk between international, UK, Canada, so you can always get the news that matters to you. You. In utilizing the unlimited access to the Vantage plan, which is the one I have now, you can use Blind Spot, which is my favorite feature that they have. It shows you everything that the right is talking about, but the left isn't. And on the other side, it shows you everything that the left is talking about, but the right isn't. So you can see the news from a, from a clear slate so that you can always see the news for what it is. A quick example is right here. Biden said black jobs. When Trump said black jobs, it was a show online and in the media. Everybody got upset, everybody's calling him racist. Okay, Biden said the same thing. Biden just said black jobs at a recent talk. The left isn't talking about it at all, but of course the right is. And then over here on the right, you have Israeli airstrikes have killed at least 14 people, officials say in Gaza. Mainly the left is reporting on this, but not the right. Why? Because we know the left is mainly all for Palestine and the right is mainly for all Israel. Clear example of, you know, they're just gonna suppress that. They're not really gonna highlight that because they'll make Israel look bad and they don't want that. Again, blind spot, it's an amazing feature click the link below or scan the QR code, especially in this hyper politicized world that we're living in and how we've seen the media is able to mislead you. Ground news will always keep you grounded and tell you the truth for what it is. If you want to get involved with the ground news, be sure to sign up below, especially for a limited access to the Vantage plan, which my link and scanning the QR code on the screen will give you 40% off this month only. So be sure to do that again. That is ground.news slash Amir. Link below or scan the QR code on the screen. He's going to take away abortion rights. He and his allies would limit access Access to birth control, ban medication abortion, and enact a nationwide abortion ban with or without Congress. Okay, let's see what Trump has said himself. What did he say? You wouldn't support a national ban. No, I wouldn't support a national ban. No, I would not. He says he will not support a national ban on abortion. He said that multiple times. Let's see his stances on exceptions. Cause everyone's like, he's gonna ban it in totality. Let's see what he has to say about that. But I believe in the exceptions for rape, incest, and the life of the mother. I think it's very important. He said it plain and simple. He, for rape, incest, and life of the mother, he's also totally fine with abortion in that sense. He's going to take away IVF. Taking away our freedom to control our bodies, 
the freedom to become a mother through IVF like I did. Okay, Michelle Obama saying that Trump wants to get rid of IVF and he doesn't like IVF. Let's see what Trump actually thinks of IVF. For mothers and families to have babies, not harder. That includes supporting the availability of fertility treatments like IVF in every state in America. This is th this video. I hope you're seeing. There's more. To, there's more to come. But I hope you're seeing right now that there's a lot of people at play just bluntly lying in our faces and getting away with it. Like, don't tell me how to think. Don't lie to me about a person. Just give me the truth. Give me what they're saying. And it is evident with this video. You can barely trust the things that they're telling you. These videos are showing clear as day. There are a lot of left-leaning people who hate Trump just to hate Trump and are not giving credit. Where credits do and acknowledging when he's actually being very modest he's homophobic he put a judge um put a judge don't you think it's just great to see the fact that you've got a guy there um on the stage with his husband and it's normal it's not even i think it's absolutely big... fine i do as your president i will do everything in my power to protect our LGBTQ citizens from the violence and oppression of a hateful foreign ideology. So far, I don't know how this is homophobic, apparently we're gonna get into it, but in practice, the Trump administration has pursued an anti-LGBTQ agenda. Let's hear what he's critiqued. Department of Justice sent a memo to the Supreme Court, Title VII, which is a civil rights law protecting against discrimination on the basis of sex does not extend to transgender workers. Where, where are the gay people at? This has nothing to do with gay people. It goes back to the LGB versus the TQ+. I've talked about this in my other piece of the content. At the end of the day, like I can't change the fact that I'm gay. I can't change the fact that I'm black, but I'm being told you can change your gender on your gender on the fly. Men can be women and women can be men. You know, I'm being told these things. So of course, like if you could just switch it back, then boom, like, you know what I mean? It's very dicey. So it makes sense why gender identity discrimination isn't really constituted as sexual discrimination. And especially when it comes to gay people, my friends just got married at mar Largo. Literally, Trump had a gay wedding at his house this year. He seems like a very horrible racist person and a very horrible homophobic person if he's always constantly surrounding himself with multiple different races and multiple different sexualities. Again, actions speak louder than words and as a gay man in this country, I'm unfazed by President Trump. He's racist against Mexicans. You have been widely criticized, Donald, as you know, for offending immigrants in your announcement speech. I wanna just play again exactly what you said in that speech. Here you are. When Mexico sends its people they're not sending their best. They're not sending you. They're not sending you. They're sending people that have lots of problems and they're bringing those problems with us. They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. And some, I assume, are good people. Now, you've tried to clarify this statement in recent days, Anna, but I guess the question comes down to this. Do you regret saying that specifically about rapists or do you stand by it? No, not at all. Of course, they're, they're, it's, it's not only Mexico. If you let that run a little bit longer, it talks about people coming from all over. They're coming from all over, they'll soon be coming and probably already have be coming from all over the world. You're probably going to have people, you're probably going to have terrorists coming from the Middle East. Somebody said, oh, we don't have terrorists. They don't even know because they don't know who's coming. You can watch my video. I did a video on him on the border wall. There are Chinese people, Russian people, and Indian people flying to South America and coming up through Mexico through the border because it's that easy to break through. When watching that clip, it is clear Trump is not talking about the Mexican race. They're all rapists and, and disgusting and whatever it may be. He wasn't talking about that. He's talking about the people that are sneaking through the border. And speaking of the border, let's see what they have to think about it. More than 80 migrants with previous criminal convictions were caught trying to cross into the United States illegally in the El Paso sector. According to Border Patrol, a pair of migrants from El Salvador who had ties to gangs were wanted for homicide. Another migrant who was also wanted for murder was sent back to Mexico. CBP says that many of the migrants are aggravated felons, sex offenders, child predators, drug traffickers, and drunk drivers. So where did Trump lie in his statement? Because it's apparent at the southern border there are criminals coming through Mexico that are murderers 
and rapists and serial uh, crime offenders, the list goes on. Exactly what Trump said. So instead of the media telling you that Trump says all Mexicans are rapists and they're all so bad, he's literally talking about what's actually happening at the border. And that video was so old, everything he said had just come true even more. It is an issue that we're dealing with at our southern border, but everyone keeps talking about race instead of focusing on what's actually going down. Y'all, we are being lied to about this man. He downplayed COVID. I want y'all to look at, the, look at this real quick. Fact check, the World Health Organization did not say COVID can't transmit from person to person. I'm gonna repeat this and it's on the screen. Fact check, the World Health Organization did not say COVID-19 can't transmit from person to person. Cool, so what did they say? Preliminary investigations conducted by the Chinese authorities have found no clear evidence of human to human transmission of the novel coronavirus 2019 and COV identified in Wuhan, China. That is from the who. Listen, Trump downplayed COVID, Trump COVID, this Trump COVID. The people we were supposed to be listening to didn't get anything right at all either. No one's being real or consistent. You got Pelosi talking about come outside, come to Chinatown, everything's all fine and dandy. You should come to Chinatown. Precautions have been taken by our city. Uh, we know that there is a concern about tourism traveling all throughout the world, uh, but we think it's very safe to be in Chinatown and hope that others will come. Just phony. And everybody was getting mad at him calling it the China virus. I'm sorry, have you ever heard of the West Nile virus? Is that, is that not a thing? Have you heard of the Spanish flu? We've always named flus and sicknesses from the country origin, not every single one, but it has been common. To pin that on Trump and the media keep calling him racist and a bigot for that, as if the West Nile virus and Spanish flu aren't a thing that we study in school. I'm telling y'all, you really need to think for yourselves. Do not be lied and misweighed about this damn man. Is he crazy sometimes? Yes. Has he lied sometimes? Yes. But these are the most prom, this list, which there's more. This is the prominent list of the top key things that he's always been lied to about. And it's all being debunked right now. And I'm not just talking out my hoo-ha. It's coming from Trump himself. They're lying about the things that he's saying, y'all. Trump told people to take ivermectin and horse dewormer. The truth is ivermectin, which is not only a drug for horses, there is a human grade ivermectin has worked for the same amount of people in my life as the same amount of people who got the vaccine and then still got COVID. At that, there is such thing as Advil for horses. So now just because you take an Advil, you take a horse medicine? No, that's not how this works. Why crap on someone medically for doing something that's worked for them and that was prescribed to them by their doctor? The same people that's constantly saying Trump is lying, Trump's a bigot, Trump spreads misinformation is the same group of people that was misled and wrong about everything regarding 2020 and COVID. Not just protecting themselves, but reducing their transmission. Uh, to other people and allowing society to get back to normal. We can kind of almost see the end. We're, we're vaccinating so very fast. Our data from the CDC today suggests, um, you know, that, that vaccinated people do not carry the virus, don't get sick. Getting vaccinated and getting a booster shot when eligible can save your life and protect you and your family and friends from getting seriously ill and spreading infection. What do you think the probability is? 80%? Personally, I think it's 100%. I think that there's a reduction in transmission. Right. COVID, if you have these vaccinations. We have all the vaccines we need. We just need our people to take it. A, for their own protection, for the protection of their family, but also to break the chain of transmission. You wanna be a dead end to the virus. So when the virus gets to you, you stop it. You don't allow it to use you as the stepping stone to the next person. Now we know that the vaccines work well enough that the virus stops with every vaccinated person. A vaccinated person gets exposed to the virus. The virus does not infect them. The virus cannot then use that person to go anywhere else. These are the same people who put all this control in 2020 who lie, ooh, this pisses me off so much. Lied to our faces about this non-stop. They lied. They were wrong, completely wrong, 110% wrong. And we're all trusting these same people to tell us the facts about Kamala versus Trump. You got me messed up.
I really hope that this video has been helpful for you today and that you share this with all your friends and family who have ever questioned Trump, had doubts about Trump, on the fence about Trump, or in, just honestly, not just in general, even if they hate Trump, everyone needs to see this video for the truth that's outlined in it. The most common and widespread lies about Trump for years, they've talked about all these things that we've just outlined that are not true it all requires nuance it all requires hearing the full things that he said it requires the full story at the end of the day it's like i i just want the truth to be known i really don't care who you vote for as long as you know why you're voting for them i think everyone has the right to vote everyone should vote but everyone should vote on their own morals and their own views they should not be led by any uh, Taylor Swift. Just because Taylor Swift endorses Kamala doesn't mean I need to go out and vote for Kamala because that's just the right thing to do because I love Taylor Swift. That's the opposite of what should be happening. You should be voting based off of your views and the views that you hold foundationally, not the views that your friend group holds, not the views of your family, not the views of your favorite influencer, the views of you and understanding why you feel the way you feel and understanding the power that you have to vote in this nation and allow your opinion to be heard but keyword your opinion and you don't have an opinion if you are a copy paste clone of everybody else out there you do not have an opinion if you are just copying and pasting what twitter says what cnn says what your friend says what this famous person says let it come from you that's what really matters and that's all that i aspire for everyone watching this video again vote for whoever you want to vote for but make sure you know why you're voting for them so with that being said Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. It's just crazy that we're already over 300,000 subscribers. We're on our road to 400 and 500 and we just don't see how big this channel can get. Cause at the end of the day, I'm just here striving for the truth, writing positivity, good vibes. I've been through too much shit, too much, hell and back to be dealing with BS and not encourage people to be the best version of the self that they know they can be. Cause you do have a lot more control than you realize. You're powerful, you're strong. And whatever you're going through in your life, just always remember, it's called going through it for a reason. You're not stuck there. You're going to survive. So just keep on pushing, keep on turning, and you will be fine. So with that being said, love you a ton, and I will see you in the next video.